so I'm just doing some type of maintenance now. I'm gonna be removing this uh, piece for the wiper blade, just like this cover, the whole thing. So there's a bolt, a screw holding each one in place. All right. So after you remove the screw, you can actually just go this way. You can push it towards that side and it's gonna come loose. Right. Let's try this thing. I'm gonna need two hands probably, but uh, as you can see, it's got these tabs and they just go inside of that thing, so you have to push it that way. I removed one already from that side. So when you're moving this way, you have to just press like kinda hard, but you cannot like pull it up, you have to move it that way. And then it comes off, because it has these like tabs in here and stuff like that. So I'll put these to the side for now. So the reason why I'm removing this whole thing is because I want to clean everything up. As you can see how much junk there is. I want to remove this part and uh, I want to blow everything off. As you can see there's a lot of leaves in there and stuff like that. So I want to clean everything up and we'll go from there. So to remove this piece it looks like you have a uh, run, chew, three and uh, four screws so probably yes yeah, so there's gonna be four screws on that side too so let's just start taking them off one by one and on the don't lose your screws you're gonna need them of course one second one so just loosen all of them on that side as well screws are out and now this thing is loose so you can probably pull it off but actually on the bottom let me show you there's these like kind of like clips so you have to they're like all the way around so you have to like remove them so this thing can come apart and you can just lift it up so just use a flat blade screwdriver to do that. Let's see. I just want to be really gentle to not break this thing. So yeah, and after that you'll be able to lift it off. Use your hands to just remove these clips. So here, remove this thing. And yeah, there's so much water in this thing. So just put it aside somewhere. Like that. Uh, so bad. This is our uh, wiper motor, and it's like all soaking here. It's no good. All right. So, I uh, so also I'm gonna be cleaning these uh, ports where water drains up. I have the compressor. I'm gonna be just blowing everything off. And uh, yeah. This is really important because otherwise the water is going to be going like inside your car. Your carpets are going to be wet. Different, you have to disconnect this uh, connector for the sensor, put it aside. And then again, this right here, just press down, press up, it's released already. And then down here, press these things. So let me try showing you right over here. On. Just gotta be really gentle with these as they crack. You can also remove this uh, thing, the rubber, but I'm just gonna leave it in place. Okay. I just need two hands probably because this side is a little more tough. These are uh, released. You can just lift this puppy up. Okay. Put it to the safe spot. And now you just have to inspect everything. I'm going to have to blow this hole as well. 
Okay. And this is where your cabin filter goes to. <clears throat> and then this hole right here. I have to blow that hole too. So I think you might be able to lift this thing off. Let's see. Yeah, there's two clips. I can just probably take it off. Okay. Just move it around the washer, uh, the wiper blade. Like so. Alright. So it looks like I'll be removing this uh, wiper uh, assembly out of here because I really need to remove this thing out of here because underneath it there's so many leaves and crap and just need to clean it off. First of all, I'm gonna disconnect this wiper connector. Just pushing these tabs on the side. Okay, let me put it aside. As far as I see, three bolts. One, there's a nut here, and there's one more right there. Okay, and this is like a securing spot probably, so it just comes off towards the windshield uh, when you remove all three bolts. I'm not sure, I haven't done this before, so we'll see. But first I'm going to remove those three bolts. So, two nuts and one bolt are out. And this thing is going to be wobbly. So, you're going to have to be careful with this part. But you have to remove it out of there so you would go this way. So here's the deal. You can actually put the flathead screwdriver in this hole and you can pop pop this thing up like so and then this thing should just come off like so I'm gonna put it to the side really carefully like so okay Now I have to remove these, you have to use the pliers. So I loosened this one already. So it's just gonna come off. That's how it looks. And the same thing with this one. I have to use the pliers and loosen this thing up like so. Now it's gonna come off. And we're almost done uh, removing this plastic piece out of here. Almost done. And you have these uh, clips here. You have to remove, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this thing won't break. But uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing on both sides, and then uh, this thing is gonna be ready to come out. Pretty much. I'm working on these uh, clips here, and uh, yeah, they're not fun, and I don't have any extras, so. Just uh, wiggling it back and forth, and uh, uh, it's probably gonna come out soon. And it's hard to get something back there to squeeze that thing, but I was trying. I used these uh, pliers like that, so eventually it's gonna come out, anyways. Okay, so both the uh, clips on both sides are removed, and now, as you can see, that's where the cabin filter area is. You have to release these uh, clips on both sides. Like so. A little more. Okay, it's ready to come out. Pull this thing out. So it's a little pain in the ass because there's no space, so I have to fight with this uh, rubber thing. And I'm gonna go on that side and pop that side off. Vacuum cleaner and uh, air compressor. I'm gonna show you how much dirt there is. I don't know if you will be able to see, but it's like a sludge. Yeah, it's really nasty in there. So, I was. Uh, blew this thing, that port right there, 
and then I'll do the same on that side and uh, as you can see I didn't remove this thing all the way at first I thought I'm gonna have to but uh, if you want you can do that but uh, just have to be careful with this thing I should have removed this first and then because uh, right now it's uh, I don't want to crack this plastic so plus I'm not sure how this thing comes off this white one probably there's a bolt or something but uh, I have enough access right here to clean that thing off so I'm just cleaning everything here blowing everything with the air and what other thing that you can do to check that everything is fine is pour the water in the drain and check to see if it's draining it's got to be draining so if that's draining that's good so I did both sides and now I'm just gonna focus on that one right there all right okay let me show you something down there if you can see that's where that tube comes out so it's all dirty inside so I just have to clean that sludge off that's where the water is coming out so it drops inside of that inside of that thing oh my God, let's see if I can show you I don't know if I can but uh, you saw that uh, part where the water goes down to as you can see there's that plastic thing it goes down there and and the water just comes out of there near that like blue uh, hose a little more to the left as you can see there. so this is all the sludge that's coming out of there okay so let's see what we got so this thing is basically in place now I'm gonna clean it up with a wet cloth I'm gonna clean these spots right here and then uh, I'll be putting these plastics back on and all that stuff and also the wiper assembly. So this is the drain that I was cleaning and I want to show you. I'm going to pour water in this thing and you're going to basically watch that part right there. So I'm going to pour this water in here and you watch that port. See it drains really fast now. I'm pouring more like so that was basically my goal to clean all of that stuff up and to free up the clogged drains so I'm just gonna clean this these spots here pretty well this stuff just spray it over there like so so it's nice and clean. Let's see. Just like like so. Alright. Alright, so the windshield is done now. Uh, I gotta clean this uh I'm not gonna clean this uh wiper assembly, but uh I wanna put grease on the contact points here on the pivots everywhere before I put it back in grease on these contact points just use the regular wheel bearing grease I put these back all right now I'm just gonna put this uh, wiper assembly on okay so the wiper uh, thing is in place make sure you line it up uh, with the place where the wiper blade was sitting everything this thing is connected now the connector is in and uh, I lined it up the way I could and I mean not the way I could but I had to make sure that it's pretty much in the same spot it was before so and yeah now I'm just gonna start putting these covers on and all that stuff and uh, we're almost done here okay so actually I forgot you have to put these ones these two pieces and then after that you can put those uh, four bolts in 
All right, so now you can start putting this plastic back in the spot. Let's see. This thing is sitting like so, and then you're just gonna push this thing down because of these clips. They have to click in place. Okay, so this piece, as you can see, it's fading and you can see these particles right here. It used to be rubber. No good. So I'm just going to remove them. I'm just gonna like trim this stuff so they're like not in the ice, but yeah. I'm gonna do it to both of them. Just peel this thing off. As you can see right here, comes off easy. This uh, it's gonna look a little better. Like that this okay. okay just gonna peel this off carefully it's time to put these uh, covers all right at the end just uh we install these two pieces, just uh, screw in the, one of the screws. It's just one for each. Let's see. Right there. So, all right, and uh, that's how everything looks at the end. And don't forget to plug in the sensor. Okay, right here. Plugs in, and yeah, that's it. Just uh, make sure everything works. The wiper uh, is working, and all that stuff. So I just sprayed this thing. With water, make sure uh, that it's draining and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I just tested the wiper blade, everything works. So yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, I hope uh, it helps you out if you have a problem or anything like that with the floors that are wet. Mine were not wet, I just, uh, it's like a preventative maintenance that I'm doing right now. So in the future, I won't have any issues uh, with the wet floor.